Every year, thousands of hunters enjoy pursuing the many species of game the great state of Texas has to offer. On this episode of the American Outdoorsman, we'll visit the Ernst Ranch in Fort McCabot, Texas to hunt late season whitetails with two young hunters. Curtis Bailey and Tristan Civils are both only nine years old, but it's easy to see that they've already made hunting a big part of their life. Over the course of four days in the field and in the lodge on location in Texas, two young men who may have never met anywhere else find each other both chasing down whitetails and forge a friendship that just may last a lifetime. Coming up next, you'll relive the excitement and thrills through the eyes of two young hunters on the American Outdoorsman. Just as most destination hunts begin, after arriving, it's always imperative to make sure the guns are still shooting correctly. Curtis and Tristan both shoot several rounds to make sure they're comfortable in every aspect before going afield. One of the great things about introducing young hunters to the outdoors isn't just the experiences they have while hunting, but it's the introduction they have to different ways of life and the new people they meet along the way. What young hunters soon learn is the responsibility of being prepared for each hunt by putting in a lot of hard work and to constantly learn from their mentors. And in turn, these learned traits continue to play a role in everyday life. After clearing out a ground blind, it's time to head back to camp and get ready for the highly anticipated first morning hunt. On this hunt, we'll join Curtis Bailey, son of American Outdoorsman pro staffer Steve Bailey, who is also running the camera. This little buck was all Curtis and Steve saw the first morning, but with several days still left in the hunt, Curtis was far from discouraged. Nice good morning hunt here in Texas. Actually, it's our first morning hunt. And, well, we're, um, we're waiting on CJ here. And actually, here comes CJ now. Hi, here we are in our first evening hunt and we was hunting this morning we had a great hunt but we didn't get anything and also they was a in our morning hunt they was also a eight point a young a very young eight point which walked right straight up at the blind and it was eating on a little cactus like five feet away and I was so excited it it wasn't shootable. We're out here in a CJ's ranch and we're having a good time up here in Texas. So the hunt shall begin. Dad was looking to the right of the field. He saw a 
six point, and I was looking to the left of the field, and I turned over there real quick, a little bit, and I saw a nine point. Here comes a bug. Can you get on him again? Can you get on him again? Meow, meow. Alright, look at the camera, big boy. No, he's still up. Oh, he fell. He fell. He fell. And when I saw that, he went pop, pop, pop. Yeah, I missed that. He went, it looked like he went right into cactus and it tripped him over. Yeah. Now, was that a big rack for you? Huh? I guess I am bringing something home. You are a big. Me and Dad, Dad was looking over there when he saw a nice little eight point. Then I was heard, hearing something over here. Then all of a sudden I heard over there, I saw a big eight point sitting over there. He's walking around over here by this little feeder over there. He's walking. He turned around. He got right there. I shot him. Then he just kept on running. He ran down. Then he put his head right there. And I shot him one more time. Then I had my scope on him. And then he just flopped over. I can't believe. It's a nine pointer. Nine? Yeah, that's what I called it. It was a two in the middle count. Yeah. That Go take a look at the deer. Now join Tristan Civils on his Texas whitetail hunt with his grandpa and owner of the Ernst Ranch, C.J. Ernst, and his dad, Jim Civils.
Although Tristan would have probably liked to have taken one of these Texas bucks, both his dad Jim and grandpa CJ knew there would be plenty of opportunities for him to take a buck that fit more in the role of a management deer. As Tristan's hunt came to a close, cold weather moved in, and the next morning presented even more opportunities and learning experiences for the young hunter. As the morning of day four was coming to an end, it was obvious that it wasn't as easy to take a management buck as he may have anticipated. But a midday jackrabbit hunt proved to be a little more productive for both Tristan and Curtis. You locked on it? Good. Yeah. Okay, I'm good over here. He's not down even. There he is. I shot him that time. All right, look at me. There's two of them back there. There's two more back there. Let's switch shooters and go, you want to go get another one here. That's a good shot, though. Making hunts fun for young hunters and giving them positive experiences in the outdoors is a sure way to get them hooked. It's also a great way to introduce responsibility, like the importance of practicing gun safety. Good shot. Good shot. Now put your gun on safety, bud. There we go. Get your rat. Hunting jackrabbits was the perfect activity for Curtis and Tristan, keeping them interactive with a spot and stock style of hunting, while also offering great family and friends camaraderie, along with sharpening their shooting skills. He's going.
After several days of patience, young Tristan Civil's persistence for taking a Texas management buck is about to pay off. Joining Tristan on this evening hunt is his father, Jim, Steve Bailey running the camera, and his newfound friend, Curtis Bailey, sitting right beside him. As the sun started to set, the deer got on their feet, and it was only a matter of time before Tristan would finally get his chance at a shooter buck. I had this one buck coming up, coming up into the pipeline. Nice day, he had came from the neighbors, he had jumped over the fence with the neighbors. Well, he got in perfect range. Almost down. He's down. Good job. He's down. All right. Yes. Good job. Yes. All right. Good job. Me and my son went to sleep. I hope he wasn't shaking as bad as I was. If he was, he'd have never hit him. He's down. See. See. So that's what it comes down to, the last minute of the last day. <laughs> I was shaking him whenever I got it on him. And I was ready. I just quit shaking. Squeezed the trigger. Pretty shit. Right by the shoulder. It was cold at the moon we came out here. Oh, it was worth it. I think my hand warmers have went out. I hope you enjoyed your hunt here in Texas, Chris. I loved it. I hope you come back for another hunt here in Texas. Hope I do too. It's kind of fun having somebody up here at ranking my age to play around with. You know, it is fun. Especially with this jackrabbits. Yeah. Why don't you come down to Kentucky and see us? We'll see. I don't know if my mom will let me. <laughs> bring your mom. <laughs> I'll bring my dad too. Leave Carson at my grandpa's. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode of the American Outdoorsman. We've had two youngsters right here, right here in West Texas, uh, Tristan Civils and my son Curtis Bailey. Both nine-year-olds, and I think they're now best friends. You guys just met during this hunt, right? Right, yeah. You guys sent each other a couple letters? Yep, yeah. Right, getting prepared, ready to go? And uh, I tell you folks, if you don't have uh, your youngsters and children out in the woods, or the desert, if that may be where you're at, um, just like we are here, I tell you, you're making a great mistake, because this is a testament to uh, uh, taking two kids and showing them that there's uh, more out there in the world than some of the bad uh, things that we all don't want to see these kids and trails go down. Instead, we'd rather see them go down whitetail trails and uh, and uh, share these great times in deer camp and fishing camp or whatever type of camp you may be doing uh, with your families. Folks, thanks again for joining us for another great episode of the American Outdoorsman. What do you think, fellas? Yep. Yep. All right. Well said.
For more information on today's program, you can visit us on the web at www.theamericanoutdoorsman.com.